Makeup morning, guys. How are you? Today we're going to do a full face impressions of one brand, which is Milani. Um, so let's start off with primer. This is their Prime Perfection Face Primer Hydrating Base. Um, it's going to prime skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup, hydrate and create a natural finish, reduce redness and minimize looking pores, and lightweight, non-greasy. Well, those are all things that I desire. Especially the reducing redness. It almost has like a, I know it sounds weird, but like a mint smell to it. So I had the weirdest reaction happen to me. I got bit on the neck by a mosquito and it turned purple. So now it looks like I have a hickey on my neck, which that's lovely. I can see leaves fog. I already love their foundation. I love their foundation. It's very full coverage. I love the finish. It does have a slight floral smell to it, but I've said that before on my channel. But it goes away. Like you don't smell all day. I have a foundation by Beauty Bakery and I, I know they put vitamins in it and something else, but you can smell it all day long. And I hate it. I have their concealer, which I didn't know they had. I had to order it online. I don't know if they have it in stores. I'm sure they do. I just, I haven't had a chance to go over to Ulta. And then I picked up their setting powder and translucent to medium, which was the lightest shade. This concealer is in shade Ivy Rose. I told you guys about the one time I, there was a wasp in the, in here, in where I do my makeup at. And now every time I see something like slightly flying around, I freak out. I'm just like, oh my God, it's the wasp again. So the concealer stayed on my nose, which is great because I have problems with that. Does anyone else have problems with that? Where like foundation or concealer doesn't want to stay on your nose. I know some people think it's like the primer's fault. I've tried not priming my nose. It still does it. All right, let's go in with some setting powder. If you watched Wednesday's video, my Ipsy unboxing, you you saw 
that KT London setting pa setting powder I got in the mail and it's amazing. My forehead looks like I had just gotten Botox. Let's see how this one does. Now, if I can remember to, I'll put in the prices because I have to go look them up as I'm editing because <laughs> I don't remember because I bought this stuff way too long ago. So. Mm. I can still see some lines in my forehead, but they're not like extruding. Yeah. So I would say the setting powder does a pretty good job. My under eye area looks good. So, so in this setting powder, you only get 0 0.12 ounces. That's 3.5 grams. That's actually a little compared to some of the other brands. The KT London one I got yesterday has 15 grams of product. Even Jeffrey has 10 grams of product. So, you know, I feel like there's better deals on setting powder than this one. This is my face so far. All right, so you know me, what I do next is eyebrows. So I picked up the Milani dark brown and this is the pencil that comes with it, gel. So the, so the gel glides really nicely in the pot. Hope this is dark enough. It seems like it. I wouldn't say my eyebrows are black, but I don't know. I mean, my hair's not black. My hair is like a dark brown. Wispies. My eyebrow hairs. I'm not trying to go too crazy on my eyebrows. eyebrows I feel like they're like a beacon of color on my pale face <laughs> eyebrows 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 next is bronzer blush highlighter so so I have not used this bronzer yet I've been waiting for this video um, so this is this sunlight Number one, Silky Matte. This is a tropical, it's tropical coconut scented, so hopefully it's not too bad because I really don't like the smell of coconut. Um, blendable and streak-free, uh, weightless and long wear. So this is like the bronzing shade. I didn't go too crazy. All right, that blends very well. There's that promise is done. I don't know how many of you have had the problem where you put on blush or a bronzer and um, it pulls up the foundation and then you can see like your acne underneath poking through. 
Ooh, I like this. I definitely like this bronzer. It reminds me of Physician Formula bronzer. It's a brand I can do a full face of. Cause we, uh, do that. If you guys think of, I'll put, I'll, I'll put it in the comments, like I'll tag it about a full face brand that you want me to see, see test do to test do to. We're using this bronzer as our contour too. I'm not going anywhere until I finish, so. Didn't you about that? That YouTube life. Okay. Ooh. I wish I had more time to watch more um, small YouTube people. sometimes I put the baby down and I fall asleep with her because I'm so exhausted <laughs> all right so that was the sunlight silky matte bronzing powder you get 9.5 grams so that's pretty good let's compare it to the physician's formula bronzing butter all right you get 11 grams in that one so, you're still getting more in the bron in the butter bronzer. Um, my favorite Dior bronzer, um, you get 11 grams of that, so that's comparable. But price-wise, not. I think Dior's uh, $39.99, but it's that's my favorite bronzer. So I blame. I blame Nikki tutorials. All right, so this is Color Harmony. It is a um, easy to easy to use for pigment rich ultra blending blush tone wear, swirl together for the perfect shade. Just like single it out. I thought that the, I thought the little mini fan, the the middle, this little white thing right there was highlighter, which it kind of is. Let's see. Oh, look, see. It's not gonna be a deep highlighter, but. Highlighter. The highlighter in me wants to go put more on. Alright. So that's such a, it's a very light pink because it's number one. It's pink play. I think it's cute. Use the deeper shade of blush below the apples of the cheeks. Oh yeah, you can use it. Swipe highlighter shade above cheekbones. See, I was right. Okay, anyways. Oh, they have a really deep one in there. Okay, I see. Okay, well, look at me. I actually have a uh, blush. I don't know what that arm thing was. I actually have a blush by um, Anastasia Be Beverly Hills, who has like three shades like that. One's sh shimmery, one's normal, and one's deeper. And I was deep cutting it like that. I just thought it was weird that I was doing that. But now I realize that you can. Oh, 
I'm gonna make it a genius. No, I'm just kidding. All right, I'm gonna put setting spray on my face. Hey, I didn't say setting powder this time. Full side note, you may be going, Christina, full face products, only one brand. Why did you just use Morphe? I hate the Milani setting spray. There, I said it. I've used it before, the nozzle sucks. It sprays in different directions, don't buy it. Unless you get one with a nozzle, it works. There, I said it. So, when I bought all my products online, they sent me a free eyeshadow palette. So, you may be going, Christina, you're going to the dentist. Blue eyeshadow? <laughs> why yes. Why yes I am and why yes it's gonna happen. So, none of the shade names have, um, they just go one, two, three. Um, so, They have like a little thing on the back, like instructions. So they say to use number one as a base, which is kind of what I do anyways. I always have to, this is, this is their foundation creasing in my eyelid. I've never used the Milani eyeshadows before. I'm so sorry. Someone just called me and interrupted the video. Good thing I realized it right as after I ended the call on my Apple Watch. I was like, oh my god, it stopped recording. Because I was about to like start talking again. Right. Don't they know I'm trying to film? This is also why I film really early in the morning with my phone. Base goes on really well. That's actually got pigment to it. I'm impressed. Sometimes base doesn't have pigment. And this gray shade, which is number two, says apply to the brow bone. Brow bone, what brow bone? And then the inner brow bone and then pull, go outwards. So basically the crease. My problem is, is <clears throat> because I have such hooded eyes, that shit doesn't really, brow bones. Oh, little review on the Jeffree Star mirrors, by the way. Um, They're sturdy and I'm a klutz and I've dropped it too many times and it has not broken. Has not broken. So they're sturdy. If you wanted that review. The reviews that nobody wanted. <laughs> My YouTube channel. Number three on the lid. That's a dark look. I don't know if I can pull that off, but we'll see what we're gonna do. It's like a smoky gray. Like the picture of the girl. She's got it like super deep on there. Apply to lid and blend well. <laughs> so apply to lid and blend well. I feel like going and not smack it on your face, as some people say. I do. You want this like black color right here? Hello? Here you are. 
Don't tap it off. Apparently everything comes off. Hmm. Okay. liner also right there Take this highlighter shade. It's kind of like a gray highlighter shade. You know, in the picture, it's like white. All right, so next step is mascara. This is a very dramatic eye for going out to the dentist. <sighs> hey, but it was a free palette. If I could have chose like a more neutral shade, I probably would have. Alright, so mascara. No mascara. So this is the highly rated mascara. So. Gotta be good at being, you know, calling it highly rated, right? And last but not least, I got Amore Matte. It is, uh, that's the shade name is Amore, which means love in French, Amore. Um, oh, it smells really sweet though, and I don't like that. And it kind of comes on really thick. It has a stopper inside. It just doesn't have a doe foot applicator to keep like some of the product in the center. I think I'm glad I picked out a more neutral shade for my lip. All right, so that is the finished look on doing a full face of one brand. Comment down below and tell me what you think. Also, don't forget to tell me a brand that you would like me to see a full face of one brand. Um, it's already drying down, map. All right, I love you guys so much. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you'd like to see more full faces, let us add moisture back into our faces. Moisture. I hope you guys like, <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. All right. I love you guys so much. Bye.